So in today's session, I get to talk about assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. By the end of this session, you will understand what these three mean, and also I will be able to usher in the accounting equation from these three. My name is Arnold, so let's get to it. So tomorrow you can easily wake up and you have a business idea. Of course, if you're having a business idea, you're supposed to put money into that idea to make it come to life. So this is where we go ahead and start what we call a business. Now, there are various forms of businesses that you can create. You can either create a sole proprietorship or a partnership or a company. We shall discuss those forms of business um, formations later on in the video series. The point I'm trying to make here is that when you think about an idea, when you conceive an idea of a business, it, it's as though now you have created something that is separate from you. The business idea gains or cre gets a, a separate identity from you. And so when this business idea gets a separate identity from you, it means you're going to go ahead and fund it. So if you get money from your savings, and you get this money from your savings or from friends and then you decide to put this money into the business that amount of money that you are investing into the business is what we are calling capital so when you invest this capital into the business now this capital is now owned by the business and this capital now it's no longer your money you've given it to the business so the business being a separate entity from you now is going to use this capital to now buy resources that are in the business. These resources that are in the business are what we call the assets of the business. So you can invest capital into the business and that capital, yes, it is your stake in the business or it is what the business owes you. And so this money is used to buy resources in the business. These resources can be like furniture, premises, you know, it could also be cash, like that. So that is, the assets are the resources that are owned by the business. And uh, the capital is the stake, the owner's stake in the business. So sometimes you might find that the money that you have saved up to start your business idea, that money is not enough. So because this money is not enough, you decide to go out and try and get other people's money. When you're getting this other people's money, it could be in form of a loan from the bank, or it could be loans from relatives or related entities, or it could be money of maybe a supplier. Someone has supplied you goods in your business and you've not yet paid them. If you've not yet paid them, but you intend to pay them after some time, it's indirectly... Um, um, interpreted as someone's money is in your business operating. So now that other money that is operating in your business that is not yours but that money is contributing to the asset base of the entity or of the business is what we are calling liabilities. So now that I have talked about assets, liabilities and um, the owner's equity or the owner's capital then it brings us into now what we are calling the accounting equation. The accounting equation is derived from those three items. The accounting equation has two sides. We have the one side that is showing the resources in the business and the other side that is showing where those resources are coming from. In the first instance, I said that when you are starting a business, you're going to begin with your own resources. Maybe it is savings from you. And we say that, that those savings are the ones that are going to be injected into the business. And the business is going to use those savings, which are now in form of capital, to, you know, get assets. So in other words, the business is using as the, the capital that you have provided it to you know buy assets so that formulates the first part of our equation that the capital that have you been employed is supposed to be equal to 
the assets that are in the business or in other words the resources that are in the business are supposed to be equivalent to the capital that has been injected into the business that is the first part of the equation but it is very common that in most cases that the owner of the business may not have enough resources and so we'll have to rely on other people's resources to contribute to the assets in the business and so the act those other people's monies that could be loans from banks that could be uh, suppliers that have given you stuff and you've not yet paid them those other people's monies that are in your business are what we are calling liabilities so you will find that the equation balances like that you will find that the total amount of capital that you have employed into the business plus the monies that are coming in from other people's people that is the resources of other people that money is supposed to be equivalent to the resources that are in the business and the resources that are in the business are what we are calling the assets so this is basically what we call the accounting equation and in our next session we are going to examine how the accounting equation works how it is affected every time we introduce money into the business how the accounting equation is affected every time a transaction takes place that is what we are going to look at in our upcoming sessions so in a nutshell what i'm trying to say is that any resources provided by the owner of the business is known as capital and this capital represents the amount owed by the business to the owner of that business the things owned by the business are now regarded to as resources of the business and these are also called assets in addition to the owner contributing capital to the business other people may also provide assets to the business the amount owed by the business to these other people is what we call liabilities so guys i'll see you in the next session as we expound more on the accounting equation my name is Arnold and I'll catch you in the next session. Take care.